you got to dig a little deeper because I do believe, contrary to your opinion, that a win in Greenwood does impact winning in Gallagher. A, a win at Old Break Stadium does help Cowboy basketball. Winning for softball is a big deal to us because it shows, I think, at the end of the day, there's a recruiting element to everything we do. <laughs> and winning and success breeds more winning success. And people watch successful people and want to be a part of it and want to be around it and want to feel like, you know, maybe they can go do the same thing. Um, and I think that that, I, I, I'll say this, one of the reasons, and I, I was recruiting Kane already, but one of the reasons I felt more convicted going after him was after sitting and listening to Alan Bratton talk about the recruiting class he had three years ago that included, um, man, I'm going to butcher his name now, um, the really good golfer that's on the tour now. Would it maybe be Victor Hovland? No, he was a freshman. Which one was a freshman that year they won it? Maybe Matthew Wolf. Yeah, yeah. So he's talking about these guys. They're like the best kids in the world. I'm like, we can recruit the best guys in the world in golf? Now, I'm not a golf guy, so I don't understand the history of our golf program. I'm still learning, but I understand it's great. I'm like, if we can do that in golf, and we've had Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas on our campus at the same time, and we've got Mr. Iba and Coach Sutton, like, we can get the best people in the world in any sport here. And that, that gave me more motivation and confidence that if I kept doing the work, that we had a lot to be able to convince this kid that you can achieve all the goals that you want. The Hall of Fame football players, obviously PJ golfers, uh, Hall of Fame people, just it's a great place to be. And, and a lot of that has to do with watching those other guys. John Smith, the world's greatest wrestler ever. Like, I didn't know anything about wrestling before I came to Stillwater. And then here I am. I pull up the campus. I'm like, what's that? They're like, that's the Wrestling Hall of Fame. I'm like, the Wrestling Hall of Fame is in Stillwater, connected to Gallagher Arena? I mean, this stuff you can't make up. But it's a part of me learning about our culture and what our, our athletics programs meant. The coach holder takes no um, um, fear in saying that he believes it's the most successful athletics department in all of college athletics. And a lot of it is because of our wrestling program and our golf program. And I remember telling him, I'm kind of going on a tangent now, but I remember sitting in Gallagher one year and Coach Holder came in and he was, he always admires the banners, right? You know, there's nothing up there except national championships. And my son looks at me and says, hey, where's the basketball banners? <laughs> he was like four years old at the time. And I'm thinking, damn, son, like you put a lot of pressure on me. That's my boss right there walking through here. <laughs> But that's what it is. It's about excellence here at Oklahoma State. And, and I'm certainly glad to be a part of the program.